Hey folks, JD here, and today I thought I would take you through how to calibrate a GPS system built into modern day quadcopters uh, so that when you get out in the field, it'll just take you an extra two seconds, but at least in your mind, you'll have it all sussed out and ready to go. So with a load of these, uh, with these, with these quadcopters, you've got built in barometers which can uh, sense the air pressure to where they're flying and will hold their, uh, their altitude. But an even more efficient way to do this is with GPS, which is short for the Global Positioning System, which are hundreds of satellites, thousands of satellites, which orbit our Earth. And uh, pretty much what you've got to do is calibrate the compass within here to use those satellites so that you get a very steady flight. Uh, and not only that, when you let go of the controls, the quadcopter is just going to hold its position and then likewise you can use features such as return to home so just by pushing a button it will remember where you took off from uh, by looking at its longitude and latitude um, and from there then fly to wherever you are touch down and turn off its engines so when you're out on the field it's very important that before you fly obviously you go through your pre-flight checks you check out your propellers you check out that there's nobody that can get injured anywhere around you and that you're completely safe to fly uh, also, another thing to, rec to uh, keep in mind as well is don't set your compass on anything which is metal. That will distort the, uh, the calibration. And even though it might say that you're calibrated, it might not be 100% properly calibrated. And you may find that when you take off, uh, the quadcopter might perform some in some weird angles and won't be 100% responsive to whatever you're inputting through the, through the, the transmitter. So... Let's have a quick little look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just plug in this quadcopter and then I'm going to turn on the transmitter and then I'm going to show you what the transmitter says because it's very important that you work with the quadcopter and the transmitter to find, in order to, uh, to properly calibrate the compass. So, just plug that in now. So we obviously we see the lights are flashing. So now that denotes that the, the quadcopter is on. So now what I'm going to do as well is just put the transmitter on, bring this up a little bit closely, if I can just move my light slightly as well. So I hope you can see that. So basically on here now, it says, flashing, it says set compass 1. So what compass 1 is, is pretty much all you've got to do is twist the quadcopter flat on its base. So, so now that we've set compass 1, it now says set compass 2. So if you can see that, I'll try and angle that the best that I possibly can. Can you see? Oh, there's a lot of reflection there. There we are. Can you see that? Set compass 2, just flashing. So then what you want to do is, easiest way I found, is to turn the quadcopter on its nose and then just turn it. And then this then will calibrate the compass. I can just move the transmitter closer to me so I can see what it says that it's calibrated. And you know when that's when this is completed because when it says set compass 2 will just disappear. Okay. Also, you might be able to hear that there's quite a high-pitched squeak before this is calibrated. And after it is calibrated, that high-pitched whine, high-pitched squeak just disappears. So there we have it. So now what you've got to do is you have to wait. I think it's best part of it can take anywhere from three minutes up to 10 minutes for it to lock onto satellites. So when you unbox this, if you look, if you watch the unboxing video that I did for this, you'll see that once we open it up, once you open the box up, there's a little note inside letting you know how many satellites you have to have as a minimum before you can take off and use the satellites. Now, if you take off and you haven't got any satellites or any lower than six, then the quadcopter is going to use the inbuilt barometer to try and gauge how high it is. That, even though altitude hold works well with a barometer, trust me, once you've used GPS uh, altitude hold, you're not going to want to go back at all. So, you've got to wait for about three to ten minutes until your satellite number here changes from, I don't know if I can show you, changes from zero there, got a picture of a satellite next to it with a number, has to go higher than six. 
So what I found, if you watch the flight video, I walked around the uh, the field that I was in, the park, until I had the best part of, I think it was seven satellites where I turned around and walked back to where my takeoff point. When I got back to my takeoff point, I then had 12. So to be honest with you, the more the merrier, but more than six to take advantage of the, uh, the, the built-in GPS. Obviously, the more you've got, the more stable the quadcopter is going to be. So there we are, folks. Uh, I hope you found this, uh, this video uh, informative, and I hope it'll help you. Also, don't forget, before you set your GPS, just to double-check in the manual, just to be on the safe side, and make sure that the quadcopter that you were setting up is, does, uh, doesn't have any other way to set it up other than the two ways that I showed you. If it does have another way, then set it up according to the manual. This is just a little video just to show you um, how, how to take things slowly and how to set it up before you go flying. So, if you've enjoyed this video, my friends, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, let us know. Comments in the bottom as well, please. Um, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll be kept up to date with all the videos that we're putting out every week. Uh, our schedule has updated. We're now putting out three videos a week instead of two. So then, thanks very much for watching, my friends. So until next time, Happy flying.